how can so many people be so stupid? This is crazy. Like, I feel like I'm I'm, I'm watching the development of like a, a new cult, real world crypto island. It's worse than it sounds somehow. It can't possibly be worse than it sounds. Well, let's find out about that. And you just hodl. You just hodl and hodl and hodl. People are paying 50 million dollars plus for a plot of land that's what i'm thinking when you thought it couldn't get more ridiculous guys it just did the fuck? and if you watch my video from yesterday talking about crypto land uh becoming an island boy i'm a just island but you oh know what i'm talking God. about uh, we're all going to be island boys when we when we it seems that way to the moon uh rocket emoji buzzword buzzword yeah we're gonna talk about this today i've been i've been looking into this a little bit further is this real it, it's worse than what you thought we were thinking this might be satire and then yeah. when i watched the video which you can go check that out I'll, I'll link it in the video description it's not satire it would have been the funniest video ever made if it was but this is real and that is the scary part that is, is that you can think this is a joke but it, it isn't and i've been looking into cryptocurrency i own cryptocurrency have done for a long time i'm not a what they refer to in their cult speak as a no coiner not a hater of the technology a or anything no like that, which i guess i'm a what no coiner they I? use and what this company is using to detract from like any form of valid criticism uh, essentially these people are selling plots of land on an island that they don't own then why did anybody buy it like this is like selling real estate on the moon but why but, but why would anybody buy, why would anybody give them money like this is what's so crazy oh, look at this guy's shirt he's got a shirt instead of coca-cola it's cryptocurrency is this fucking like how can so many people be so stupid this is crazy like i feel like i'm like i'm watching the development of like a a new cult this is nuts. Like, how can anybody believe this? I can't believe it. It's un unreal. Uh, which, you know, you should immediately be turned off by that idea. But there's, there's even worse elements of this. So they've stolen assets from people for their promotional video. I would have never then expected people that. Ask them, can you not use my asset in this video, please? Yeah. Instead of saying yes, instead of saying, no, let's have a conversation. Maybe we'll pay you for it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They just block them on Twitter because apparently that's how they operate. I've never of acted course. them on Twitter, never spoke to them, never mentioned them on Twitter. I'm blocked on Twitter, so they've actually watched See, yeah, my video. This is, this is always a very good indicator that a, uh, a project, any sort of like ideological perspective is, a, uh, is solid and strong, is if you block anybody who questions it. So it's that simple, yeah. So if anybody questions the ideology, you get fucking blocked. I wonder if it's really a good idea or not. It's crazy, yeah, preemptively blocking him. And so that's how insecure they are. And then retroactively went and found my Twitter account and blocked me for just no reason whatsoever. Oh my God. Um, so anyone who says anything to them is being blocked. Uh, there's problematic tweets. Uh, if you watched the video yesterday, which I suggest you do. Problematic unless tweets. Unless you like your face being normal because this video is so cringe, it will literally suck your face into an asshole, uh, <laughs> like a black hole of cringe. So I don't suggest it. For it that. looks like that, man. And so, like, this is a trailer. It, it it's so sad that they actually have like. To me, it's not sad that they're doing it because like it's just a bunch of assholes that are trying to scam somebody, right? It's like okay, yeah, whatever. But like, what's really sad to me is the people that believe in it. That's what is fucking scary. Is that like I'm fine? Like okay, scammers are trying to scam somebody. It's a new Nigerian prince. Now you're the prince of your own island. You're the Nigerian prince now, and it, that's fine. But like, how does somebody really believe this? How does somebody go and they see it and, and they're like, "This is a legitimate way for me to invest my life." But it is. If you can handle that level of of cringe, then it is quite illuminating. In this video, they say wow. crypto kitties. Now, uh, whoever's reading the script makes it sound like crypto kiddies. I just want to specify they're not talking about owning children. Although, oh, that's there good. is a problematic tweet that we will now look into. That's good. As you can see here, somebody added them. What will be the age of consent in crypto land? And they responded. Their official Twitter account responded and said mental maturity should be... It's like, even if that's what you think, you should at least have the social awareness to know that everybody will disagree with you. You should at least know, don't say that. You don't say that. 
You, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is Epstein's Island. It's just, yeah, 2.0. But that's what I mean. It's like, at least if you fucking think something crazy like this, how can you be so fucking delusional that you type it out? They know their customers? I, I, that's a lie. Winky face. Now, who was running this Twitter account? It's a small company. There's a handful of people who work yeah. there. It's got to be one of the fucking founders. They be. don't have PR people. Why are you responding to tell. this tweet, number one? Number yeah. two, how the fuck is this your official stance? Uh, obviously, a lot of people have watched the video and then heard Crypto Kitties and are now just reading a tweet when you're talking about mental maturity in, in terms of age of consent. This is like, how do you how do you do this? Like, I don't understand. Like, because they're dumb and scamming dumb people. It's a kind of a cult strategy. You go full retard to filter out anyone who has critical thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how, like, Nigerian prince emails are, like, intentionally misspelled. Yeah, I, I know about that. It's actually a, a good technique. But, like, I mean, this isn't filter. Like, who is this filtering out? Like, it's just, it's so, it's so weird, man. Holy Hopefully, fuck. Like, I'm not even going to say the word because the video will get demonetized. But you yeah. know exactly what I'm talking about. Age of consent directly relating to consent for, for sex. Yeah, right? these in those individuals. Island. You know, you can draw parallels to this to other people that have owned an island recently. Uh, this is fucked up. And they obviously... <laughs> who other people who have owned an island recently? I wonder who he's talking about. Deleted the oh, tweet God. as soon as people start saying, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Uh, and now if you mention it on Twitter, blocked. You mention it on their Discord, banned. Um, right. And if you actually get to see people respond to you, when you do mention this, their community, which, yes, they have a community of 12,000 or something people strong already. There's no way. Trying to get whitelisted. Uh, there's to no way there's 12,000 people that believe this. Like, I, I would expect 12. I'd expect maybe even 1,200. But 12,000, no, I will not accept that. I, I will not accept that. I, I think that the only reason why it would be that high is because they're faking it they're faking it with accounts in order to uh create the perception that there's more people to increase the perceived value right there's no way there's twelve thousand people that believe in this shit uh, i no no shot get their fucking grubby little paws on some more uh fucking dollary do some some fake some NFT dues. so they can sell them and make some money because people will literally try and make money from anything now. Yeah, of course. They're selling they NFTs of dead people, totally fine, uh, without the permission of anyone. Oh, yeah, they did this. Um, did you guys see this before? It was, uh, uh, you guys know the guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Stan Lee uh, actually came back from the dead to promote NFTs. Would, I would not have expected that. I really mean this. Like, I, I would genuinely not expect this. It caught me by surprise, but they used Stan Lee's account. Like, let me see if I can find this on Twitter. Yeah, so this is what it was. There is nothing sacred to to these kinds of people, okay? From championing diversity to embracing new tech, Stan was one step ahead of the curve. To honor his innovative spirit, Stan's first Indian hero, Chakra the Invincible, debuts his own nft parentheses digital art collection from 7 p.m sign up here on the chakra verse so they used a fucking dead stan lee's account to promote this kind of stuff and this is the kind of stuff that you see uh these people doing is there is no there is no shame is that whenever you start buying jpegs for thousands of dollars there is no low you cannot go lower than that like it doesn't get any worse than that so like if you would do that you do anything you do fucking anything man not even thinking about the the family's uh emotional state when literally they're having their fucking relatives uh images being sold as nfts without their permission yeah. of their dead loved one absolutely pathetic fucking shambles uh, it's of disgusting. a group of people but uh, people obviously bring this up and say, you know, what about this? And and the community turn around and immediately dive on them. Oh, grow up. Why don't you move on? Move on from what? It was yesterday. It was January 5th. It was yesterday. This yeah. is absolutely madness. And it just gets worse from here. So as you can see, this is the Twitter account of the person who uh, is atting them. Hello, you've been using my seagull rig to advertise your product. This is not authorized. Can you please remove it from all your videos and campaigns? And you've been blocked. Problem uh, you, solved. You've been blocked. So there you go. Problem this fucking the solved. There you uh, go. Website for their seagull rig. You can go find that on their Twitter. That's pretty um, cool. They do say here, 
This project was so fun, I've decided to make the seagull rig uh, available online so other artists could work with it. It is such an amazing feeling seeing it getting life in another's adventures. Now, obviously, they've released this for free and then somebody's used it and they've decided we don't want, you know, I don't want you to use my thing. Uh, releasing something for free is not a license to use it in uh, commercial products. That's not how that works. Uh, it's to not, use anything I in think that's products, stupid. You need to have the actual uh, rights by the person who holds the copyright for said thing. You can't just take somebody's mm -hmm. free stuff and just monetize it. Uh, and, and even if you could, if they turn around then and say, you don't have permission to use this in this way. This is not why I intended for my work to be used for. This is how the, uh, yeah. I, I'm As I said before, I'm very much not a fan of the way that copyright works. I think if you put something out to the public, there's a certain amount of like ownership that you just no longer have. And uh, ownership and autonomy over something that you should just no, no longer have. However, uh, it's like, I would never do this. You know what I mean? Like, why would you take somebody's stuff and even have this be an issue in the first place? You know what I mean? Like, why would even... Yeah, that's not how the law works. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Is that I, I, I disagree with it. I, I don't like it. But that doesn't mean that that's the way it goes. There's a lot of different copyright licenses you can use. Yeah, I just... I think that the entire... Like, this is what I've said before. Uh, I think the entire US copyright system is fucking stupid. I think that it's way too overbearing. It's too draconian. And I think that if you release something out to the public, to a certain degree, you lose a, a, an amount of autonomy over that kind of thing. Uh, I do not like the unnecessary licensing and like control that people have over something, especially retroactively. It's weird. You release something to the public and now you can't use it. It's just weird. Um, you should obviously have some not kind of fan. dialogue with them. But they should. The thing is, like, it. also, my opinion on this doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not like I'm not writing the laws. I can't fucking do anything about this. And they're still breaking the rules, right? So, like, it doesn't matter. Like, this is just this is my two cents on it. I hate this shit, and I always have. But like, still, like, they didn't even credit the person. Like, I, you would, you should credit the person, man, at least. But they're not even doing that. Um, if this is your position, how is anybody going to trust you to buy an island and, and build infrastructure for a whole island for thousands of people to live on well, if it's when free, you can't even have a discussion a about stealing do. a fucking seagull just a rigging for an animated do. video? Uh, just absolute garbage. But once you start getting into the details of the actual product, this is this is crazy. Uh, so obviously when you watch the video, it, it reads, it watches like satire, but it isn't. It's a real project that have had multiple people actually design and sign off Jesus. on this absolute cringe fest. That is, it is the funniest piece of satire you could make about cryptocurrency people. And yet then cryptocurrency people come in and they're like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Look, all these epic memes, like it, it's crazy. When you start looking at their community, they're literally, it's like a cult. Uh, they're, they're saying stuff like, I thought we were only going to be using our crypto lander names here. Like they're living in an alternate fucking dimension. So these are really weird. I just, I feel so bad for people that, that get into this stuff, but I don't though. Like I don't because you should know better. You really should know better. Like, I'm sorry, but like, if you are over the age of 16 years old, and no, I mean 16, not 18. If you are 16 years old and you buy into this, you are a fucking idiot. And, and I don't care about, oh, well, the brain isn't matured. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I would have known this shit was fake when I was 12, and I bet you would have too. This is completely fucking crazy. How can anybody buy into this? It's nuts. Holy shit, old rich people are getting conned? Yeah, I know. Firefest 2.0? Yeah, I know. The thing is that um, with a lot of this crypto stuff and a lot of this NFT, like these kinds of things, what they prey on, and this is something I've talked about before, this is the true American dream. The true American dream is not to earn a million dollars. It's not to... Uh, it's not to become a millionaire or billionaire. It's to be a millionaire or a billionaire. It's to have the money 
while doing nothing. Like that's the true dream because you think about this and you see all this stuff. You're not watching and seeing people like celebrating how rich they are by working. No, man, they're out on a yacht partying. And this is the idea, the fantasy that these people buy into is that they're going to buy into this incredible, amazing thing. And because they're so smart, they're going to become millionaires and billionaires in crypto while all the other people are working slave jobs underneath them. And this is a fantasy that people buy into. This is a fantasy. Uh, it's a narcissistic fantasy that people, especially in the West, buy into because it's a good alternative to actually trying to create value in the world. Uh, it's an actual great alternative to trying to uh, improve people's lives, even in a small way, to create a product, to be entertaining, to do anything. And instead of that, these people are hoping and praying and betting on the idea that because they're so smart and they understand things better than other people, they're going to be the ones that invest in some bullshit that just happens to make them a billionaire. It's, it's just this narcissistic delusion that these people have. And that's really what it is. It's a narcissistic delusion. And that's why it's so powerful is because you have a lot of people now and they've got no fucking money. They've got no status. You're 23 years old. You're a fucking loser. You have a degree in theoretical physics that got you a theoretical job. You're working at Starbucks now, living at your mom's house. And you used to think that you were smart. You were in AP classes in high school. And guess what? Now you're a fucking loser. And so you go into something like Crypto Island and Crypto Land and you think to yourself, this is the way that I'm going to right the wrongs in the world and I'm going to claim what I feel like I deserve. And that's what this guy is right here. That's, that, that, is the, that is the quintessential person that gets taken advantage of like this. And guess what? It's their fucking fault because they're stupid and narcissistic and delusional. And that's what happens. I don't really, I feel bad for them for being taken advantage of, but at the same time, I fucking don't because it's, it's through a self-centered perspective that they are allowing themselves to be taken advantage of. I hate this shit. You're killing me, man. Yeah, sure. Have, have, have I gone too far? Yeah. Have I gone too far on this? You get what you fucking deserve. I hate this shit. I hate the people that buy into it. I hate everything about it. A thing here in their white paper, if you read it, they have this thing called soft cap. So they say that the project has a soft cap of 50 mil, That's aka 30 sales of King million. Crypto Landers, which again is the one acre of plots of land. And they're saying the reason they do this is so that if they don't raise enough money through the King Crypto Landers sales of the NFTs, <laughs> we'll simply return the funds back to them, which is all well and good, right? That and they say good. this is, of course, to keep it safe so that if they don't have enough money to complete the project, people won't lose their money. Now, riddle me this. Do you really think people are going to get their money back? Like, I mean, they're already stealing somebody's art. Why wouldn't they steal your money? It's just like, how can you be that stupid? Like, it's just a very good, here's a very good indicator, right? And this is what I said before about like, this is especially important whenever you're dealing in things that are illegal. But especially if you're dealing with things that are under the table, illegal, not fully covered in the law. If anything is off immediately pull out immediately fucking pull out because if somebody is trying to do a legitimate fucking job sell you something legitimately they will do it and everything will be above the board but the moment that you see any kind of fucking like oh but i thought we agreed on this price uh-uh bitch i'm done i'm out you even mention another price i'm out because you, why would you do that why would you even fucking do that and the one thing I've learned is that if somebody is willing to scam somebody else, they're going to be willing to scam you and they will fuck you over just like they fuck the other people over. It's, again, it's narcissism. People think that they're special. They're different. Oh, that won't happen to me. It'll especially happen to you. They've said on their Discord it's going to cost at least 100 million. And I don't think that is including the 10 million to buy the island That's to get this infrastructurally to the point where people could live there. And of course, 30 months on top of that. So if their soft cap is 50 mil from purchasing these plots of land yeah. and their actual required amount is 100, the sentence of there's no risk, of course, because if we don't reach the soft cap, we'll give you your money back, yeah. is completely irrelevant because 50 mil is not 100 if you don't raise that other 50. Why do they have a scuffed M&M man here? Does anybody know why this is? Like, uh, wh wh why, why is he even here? Like, this is, it's the mascot. It's the crypto mascot. Wow. 
This looks like a worse version of Mr. Potato Head. Then you can just get halfway through development, run out of money, and then not have the money to refund these people. How convenient. So you're selling people on the idea that this is safe because we'll, we'll, you know, we're not going to continue with the project unless we have the money, but then you're only going ahead half-cocked with half the money. Yeah. Then on top of this, they also state they are not going to use the sale of land parcels to buy the island because, of course, that would be ridiculous, right? Selling people a plot of land uh, that they don't own and then using the money that they get from that to buy the island. So where's this other 10 million coming from? And then where's the other 50 million coming from uh, to actually finish the project? They don't say. The NFTs that they're giving away are not sales. They don't get transaction fees from those either. So where are they generating this revenue? This means Look what that it says. The blockchain Stein yield farming Silk Road. Oh my God. Does this say NFT army debt? Well, that one's accurate. How is this po like, how is this real? Oh my God. It's like, turn this shit off already. I know this is just, it's like, I'm actually just speechless. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's definitely not a scam. Yeah, it seems that way. This this is what a twelve year old thinks money is about. Yeah, <laughs> I can, yeah. It's like how could you be over the age of sixteen and and see this and think to yourself, this is my free ticket. Uh, we're gonna make it, guys. We're all gonna make it. Look, we're gonna go to crypto. I like. How is it even possible? The, the next be rich. nefarious element of this is going to come into play. So this is also where the Ponzi nomics comes in and the pyramid scheme esque uh, advertising that all of these cryptocurrency projects use. And what they're saying is basically we're not going to charge people for these NFTs. Yeah. But you do need to get twenty thousand coins to mint an NFT. So basically, the premise here is do these things for us. And it's tit for tat. It's quid pro quo. If you do these things... Wait, so it's like a reputation in WoW. It's like you're, you're trying to farm out for Exalted to get a mount. But instead of a mount, it's an NFT. You can't even ride it. Yeah, these guys are doing dailies. For us, which will boost our signal. Uh, be, be a signal boost for our project. Right. And put it in front of more people's eyeballs. We'll give you coins, and then you can use these coins to get whitelisted. And if you're whitelisted, you can then mint your NFT of a crypto lander, and you can become part of this 10,000 strong club to be a crypto lander. To get in on this, you have to follow them on Twitter, turn notifications on on Twitter. Wait, so this one gives 2,000 reputation. This is 1,000 reputation. The uh, So I guess uh, crypto lander to your username on Twitter... So that's that's 750 reputation points. And what are these? Crypto Lander of the Week, the most helpful, fun, active user. Invite a total of 20 users. 2,000 reputation points. They're actually rep farming. Oh my God. Like, I swear, I, th there's a list like this on Wowhead to how to get exalted with Death's Advance and Corthia. This is, it's the same fucking thing, man. Twitter raid, which is you need to like, retweet, and write meaningful comments only at 500 coins each meaningful time. Meaningful comments So basically only. turning yeah. their community into a megaphone to tell all their friends and family and right. people that they interact with on social media, hey, look at Cryptoland, guys. Come come join the community of Cryptoland. So they're Land. effectively creating a way that they can pay people without paying people to promote what they're doing. And as... Uh, you get 500 coins each time you do that. Of Change course. your Discord profile picture to your own Crypto Lander NFT. Of course. Or choose an individual unique screenshot from our video. Literally change your identity to being part of our cult is, is basically... And it's only, it's, it's only a thousand rep. I, I feel like changing your identity to become part of the cult, I mean, that should be at least like 3K, 4K, right? I mean, like, fuck. Seems like a big deal. Change your Twitter profile. And, and again, guys, I want to make sure you remember um, that all of these rewards, the grand, uh, the grand prize here is uh, an NFT. Yeah, this is what it's the for. the exact same thing. Add Cryptolander to your username. Example, my username dash Cryptolander on Discord and Twitter. Uh, add the link to discord.gg forward slash Cryptoland to your Discord bio. Oh Invite a total of 10 users. 20 users 
crypto lander of the week the most helpful fun active users elected by the modern team How fan convenient. art contest every day we will ask you to comment on a specific tweet here and the top five best comments will get three thousand coins each oh, and then wow. we have trivia and when you have twenty thousand coins open a ticket the biggest to claim your whitelist spot this is the marketing that these companies make so you, do. you need oh. to gather twenty thousand reputation and then after you get twenty thousand reputation you have to do a quest and then the quest makes you exalted and then you get the mount from the quest okay yeah uh i've i've seen this before you want something for free well wow. you have to turn yourself into our fucking literal billboard for our product to go out there yeah. and basically sell our product to other people who will then come in and we will monetize them later on. We are going to monetize these people. We're going to try and sell Jesus them something Christ, later. This Nobody is does anything sad. for free, which essentially means you can never ever see conversations about this project online, just as with most other crypto projects uh, that are legit, right? You can never verify that somebody doesn't have some kind of. Uh, financial inducement to be saying what they're saying. Because well, this is how it is with all the new crypto things now. It's because uh, it's because the government is full of a bunch of uh, dumb fucks that don't know how computers work, that they're about like 15 years behind, 20 years behind technology. So what you have now is you have a bunch of dumb fucks that work at the government and you're like, oh, it's boomers, it's boomers. No, there's young dumb fucks too. And somehow they made it into the government as well. I don't know how this keeps happening, guys. I really don't. Um, but somehow it does. And uh, anyway, they they don't understand the way that people promote these cryptocurrencies that they have a vested interest in. And because of that, the SEC, the FTC, all of these other governmental agencies aren't able to figure out how to how to pin this shit down and that's why you have all of these influencers and all of these content creators promoting these uh these cryptocurrencies that they have a vested interest into it's because they don't have to disclose that they have the vested interest in it that's why they do it it's because they can scam people and then pretend like that's not what's happening it's insane I think the government people are bad now. Let's wait till generation cancellation gets here. Good luck getting anything done. No, it, the thing is, it's just going to be the same. Listen, whenever guys that are my age are, are in charge, like the odds are they're going to be assholes too and they're going to be dumb. And then whenever people that are younger than us, like the Zoomers get in charge, they're going to be fucking dumb. And it's just, I don't know what, I don't know how this keeps happening. I really don't. But somehow it just, fucking keeps happening every single generation every year it's just assholes all the way down yeah it's crazy wow you gotta admit though if you were not a streamer you'd be mincing these crap tokens all day long scamming people oh yeah yeah 100 percent, 100 fucking percent a a absolutely i would be doing that i would be dmcaing these videos uh, i would be uh fucking making fake accounts and like telling people about how uh, how much the pricing is going up i would be doing this all i would wake up in the morning and i would think how the fuck am i gonna scam somebody today how am i gonna get somebody else to believe this stupid little chuck e cheese fucking knock off mr potato head stupid little circle and get them to scam them out of money yeah it's just it's so fucking perfect man it's so absolutely fucking perfect. Uh, literal guidelines Sell here me are some, find to get some whitelisted, Look, to get this thing, I, I, which will it. then potentially be worth thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. If in the future this becomes a reality, maybe millions of dollars to be able to have one of these 10,000 NFTs, which guarantees you a spot to be able to come to the island, to be able to go to the exclusive club. The, the people who are making oh, these right. tweets and having these conversations and have this in their profile picture and, and are making their identity about this Jesus. have got a financial inducement to do so. They've been told yeah. you have yeah, to they're tweet, making money you have to it. talk they're about doing this it for money. Uh, to be able to get whitelisted and be able to have access to this. So to add on to this, what they're saying is they need $100 million and they need a 1,000 employees to actually get this, this island well, ready. I'm sure that's going to happen. And it's going to take them around 30 months, which... Is crazy that they even say that this is a virgin island. This is a complete blank slate. It's just an island with nothing on it, no infrastructure at all. And in 30 months and, and $100 million, which again, they they don't specify where they're getting the other 50 million from, they're somehow going to turn that 
into a, an actual local ecosystem with with infrastructure for people to live there year round and to support of the course. lives of thousands of people and they're doing yeah, this with people where you go on their linkedin or whatever if you can even find them and none of them have worked in any form of you know nobody's got any qualifications in regards to doing this so they're already breaking their own terms of service by the way yeah, of course uh, if you read their terms of service which is attached to their white paper their why paper as they call it it literally says three or four times throughout the terms of service you are not allowed to buy or mint the nfts if you are a resident of the united states but because they're doing no kyc they're doing no verification of who anybody is and even yeah, when so they- it's like a porn website. Oh, you can't enter unless you're 18. Uh, when were you born? Uh, January 1st, uh, 1900? Well, come on in! <laughs> yeah, this is the same as a, as a porn website. They know you are a resident of the United States. They are sit- still selling you things. Yeah. Because they do a video with who they're calling one of their advisors, which, as far as I can tell, is just somebody who made money from cryptocurrency and makes videos on, on YouTube talking about how he's a millionaire and he buys expensive things and what cryptocurrencies you should buy. Not financial advice, not a financial fucking advisor. So they know he's a resident of the United States. You're probably not allowed to do this in the United States, That's which is why they've why. explicitly said yeah, you why can't would they buy not these want if to you're in the US. the US. And yet they know this guy's in the US. There's multiple people. Are yeah. your realty investments? He's been whitelisted, apparently. So they're just whitelisting anyone, regardless of where they're from, even though White they're list, telling baby. you uh, you can't be from the US. So here's a quick recap, guys, before we end the video. What they're doing See, to you... See, uh, these are the kinds of guys uh, that... These are the kinds of guys that really get taken advantage of. And it's a certain subset of guys. And I think generally it is guys that are between the ages of, if, if I had to guess, like 15 and 35. And it's mostly guys I think they get taken advantage of in this regard. And it's because they are mediocre, uh, boring, or just in general lack any sort of, uh, of reason for people to give them money. And these are the same people that retweet uh, or uh, repost fake Elon Musk quotes on Instagram about having a side hustle. Uh, These are the same people who follow uh, motivational speakers that don't have any credibility. Uh, This is the kind of stuff that you see. And it takes advantage of guys like that. And it's like he's got a he's, he's, you know, sitting in front of his car that's probably worth uh, $13,500 MSRP, right? And this is just the uh, this is just the beginning for him, right? And as soon as he gets into this, that's going to be a Ferrari. And it's, again, it's the fantasy that these people buy into. It's the fantasy. And it's so pathetic. You can't be from the US. So here's a quick recap, guys, before we end the video. What they're doing is selling yeah. people on a dream. Do I think they're scamming exactly. people? Exactly. No, I think that they're probably dreaming. I think they're selling their dreams to other people who have more money than sense. And this is not illegal, as far as I'm aware. However, selling actual plots of land on an island that you don't own and also having to outline that you can't buy them if you're in the US probably means that they are skirting some rules here and there probably are going to be some ramifications. As well as the fact that actually handing over titles of land to people is an extremely uh, difficult process and this is why you need verification and anti-money laundering and things like that which they don't appear to be mm-hmm. doing any th- anything about if you can just log on the website uh click a button and mint and buy an nft for hundreds of ethereum this is an issue obviously because they're yeah. not checking who people are or where the money's coming from and that makes it extremely shady well, on they top don't of that care. the thing is like they, they, it doesn't matter because that's not part of the goal the the goal is not to uh, it's not to make a product. It's not to improve people's lives. It's not to have any degree of integrity. It's just to make money. And if you look at everything from the perspective of they're just trying to make money, everything else makes sense. Everything else comes together just fine. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what's going on here and how they're manipulating people into a predatory fear of missing out. Uh, marketing mechanism yeah so nobody does anything for free as i said earlier and if something is free exactly. you are the product and there this it is, is exactly what's happening if you're happening. not buying a product they are getting you are people the product. in to become the mouthpieces and the megaphones for this project and then they are going to bring in a, a, an alternate way to monetize so obviously the nfts that they're giving away are free 
this gives them value to some people because if the project becomes legit that means they're going to get oh money and the way you get these free nfts is to turn yourself into a crypto lander you become a yeah this guy right here they're marketing the people that are just like this guy uh just boring blank slate people that just want to make a bunch of money and they have no real value proposition to the world yeah they're basically soulless npcs that's it uh jerry blanks yeah there you go john does you know john smith's is boring as fuck man crypto lander and then they're Sad. going to sell something else. So the people that you rope in with these pyramid-esque uh, mechanisms and turning yourself into that Reaping billboard the are what they're then going to That's raise right. money from. This is, in my opinion, a terrible way to do business. And then when you add in the fact that how they're acting on Twitter, how they're banning people, silencing any form of criticism, which, to be fair, if you go watch my video... I didn't call them a scam. I wasn't even extremely critical. I just laughed because the video was absolutely cringeworthy. It's ridiculous. It looked, it read, it sounded like satire. And I didn't really yeah, have anything ridiculous. that critical to say. I just made jokes. And apparently you can be a millionaire. You can own a plot of land on a piece of a, an island that you don't own, but you can't take a fucking joke. This is Crypto Lander, baby. This is the future. Uh, welcome to the fucking metaverse, I guess. And yeah. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. I asked them, you know, why have you banned me? What's the issue? And hopefully they come back with it. The easiest way to silence criticism, by the way, is to prove somebody wrong. Time proves everybody right or wrong. And it's actually not true. Like if people, if like the, if the public believes something, that's the only thing that matters. Yeah. No, I, I don't believe that. I, I think that if you, the idea like truth is convenient, but it's not necessary. If this is actually legit and if you do it, congratulations, I'll be the first person to admit that I was skeptical and I was wrong and, and you did a really good job. But the things that you've done, blocking people on Twitter for no reason, which is, is not a big deal, but then blocking people on Twitter that ask you to stop using assets that you've used, that they own, that's a big deal. Uh, comments about age of consent being emotional or, or mental maturity, sorry. That's a little, uh, little that's interesting. absolutely insane. And this makes you seem completely untrustworthy. If you can't take a joke, if you yeah. can't actually have any kind of conversation with people without blocking them, without silencing any form of criticism, and if the mechanics by which you're using seem predatory in nature, uh, you, you don't seem trustworthy. And that is the problem White when you paper? are literally oh operating on a system that requires the people fuck? to trust you. I'm not saying you won't be able to make money from this, which seems to always be the crypto bros uh, ethos. If you can make money, it's fine. It's not. It's not a problem. That isn't my point. Uh, I'm open to having a conversation with these people and seeing where I'm wrong and seeing if they can address criticisms without trying to silence it. But I won't hold my breath. I'll let you know how it goes. And I imagine we'll be keeping up with Cryptoland as things move forward. But they yeah, have I said in will. their Discord that I'm they will excited. be looking into how they can deal with this because they believe this is a targeted attack. So yet again, more people in the cryptocurrency space uh, or the metaverse space that believe any opinion that is against theirs is hatred and a uh, an attack from some shadowy figure Jesus and not Christ. just the fact that other people can have different opinions that's but so there we terrifying. go welcome to the metaverse welcome to crypto land i'm an wow. island boy let's be an island boy 1.5 mil crowd for me guys let's buy a plot of land and we'll move in and and go to the moon uh yeah thank you very much for watching as always oh hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you in the metaverse baby what I've also found to be like so surprising about this whole thing is how just absolutely completely you know unoriginal it, it is. And I like if you look at the island, every single house looks exactly the same. And if you look at like all of these, the, the NFT art and everything like that, it's just one image that's just slightly altered a hundred different times. It's like there's no originality, there's no creativity in this. It's just we're going to copy paste the same thing over and over and over. Yeah, it's like a suburb on an island. Yeah, that's a good 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 way to look at it. I think it's a really good metaphor for how uh how interesting these people are too. Uh, it's really funny to see this happen and to see people buy into this stuff, but it does make me mad that people can be this stupid. But I mean we're we're living in a in a new world boys i'm telling you that man 
Like, it, it's just like the stuff with GameStop and AMC and, and everything like that is everybody wants to be the person that makes all that money. Everybody wants to be the guy that is rich because they're smart without having to work for it. That is the American dream. That is what everybody in the uh, in the Western world wants. That's why uh, the top <laughs> the, the top jobs that people want to have here in America, kids want to have, uh, it's not a doctor, it's not an astronaut, it's not a scientist. It's a YouTube influencer. It is a social media influencer. This is what people want. And why do they want that as streamer? Yeah, there you go. And why is that? Because they perceive it to be a very prestigious and you know like cool job that is easy to them right they, they think that it's super easy and so that's why they do it everybody knows being a doctor is hard everybody knows being an astronaut is hard but if you're just a youtube person you're just making videos yeah of course it's more complicated than that but it's not harder than being a fucking astronaut and that's the reason it's the social status. People are, are so, uh, they're so status conscious now. I think social media has made people way more status conscious than they used to be. And you see this all the time. Everybody is judged across these different metrics. Everybody has like uh, different uh, matrices, matrices that they are, uh, you know, evaluated on and judged on and then placed in the pecking order for. Uh, it's crazy, man. It really is. Watch the new league cinematic? Shut the fuck up. How about that? How about shut the fuck up? Let's go ahead and watch this one right here. Let me link this video too. I forgot to link the video. Uh, give me one second. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. And that should be it. It's funny because uh, my grandma cares more of her social status and the whole family does add it together. I think that young kids, especially now that like social media is like a very prevalent thing and everything like that. Uh, young kids are very very social con socially conscious because i think a big difference of it is that there's not like th there's a lot of there's a lot of components to like why kids are more socially conscious now now i think that a lot of it is like back in the day like you would have like a religion or something like that or like a society a, a societal fabric that somebody could fit into and then they could be part of that societal fabric and gain some form of self-worth through that but now we don't really have that anymore so you have people that just get attached to social media they get attached to uh other people liking them and they don't have a uh, a north star for their values as much uh, they don't have a and if they do have a north star it's always changing it's always moving and there are some positives and this is something that i know some people might disagree with me on but i do think that it's true this there are some positives to having a uh, uh you know a very old religion in a way because that type of thing gives somebody a, a way that they can just look at that thing and say like this is what gives my life value this is what matters i'm not saying it's necessary i'm not saying it's even really good but the purpose that it serves is positive in that regard and it orders people's lives i think that's what it is and uh, now you don't really have that same ordering of people's lives and so now the ordering of your life is then given to the individual how does the individual order their life and some people do it in a very healthy and a very good way but there's a lot of young people i mean like i think especially for like like imagine if you're like a 12 or 13 year old girl right now like imagine going on instagram and seeing all these instagram models that have uh you know nine different plastic surgeries and three different editors before they post a picture seeing a picture of this girl knowing you'll never look like her and then hating yourself because the only reason why people look at pictures like that is because if a girl's hot or not and it's like you're judged so strongly on that at school and by your friends by boys everything like that i'm sure you're fucking suicidal after that because you're not old you're old enough to know that you're not going to look like that but you're still young and naive enough to not understand why and it's the same thing with guys too and this is not like I think girls, it's much more the case because uh, girls are judged, I think, more harshly on their appearance uh, than men are in general in society. And um, but guys, it's the same thing. It's just a little bit different. It's like you don't have all this money. Uh, it's like these guys have a lot of these different advantages. And um, 
a, a lot of guys don't realize it's like, wow, well, yeah, this guy got a huge advantage because his dad owns the company or he got a huge advantage because of something that really had nothing to do with him. And uh, a young person, especially like, you know, uh, preteen, mid teens or so uh, d is still too naive to really understand all the parts that fit into that. And because of that, they get the press and they, they they resent the world, they resent themselves, they resent their society, etc. Because they're being shown a perspective that doesn't exist. So uh, I see this Gemrad influencers. Well, yeah, yeah, it's like you have to work out. And if you don't, you're a loser, etc. And uh, remember, it's acceptable to be rude and condescending to other people now because clout chasing is truly a thing. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's definitely true. Uh, sometimes it is. It's easy to have a tainted view on the, ter on the term successful if you base it on what works in social media. Yeah, I think that's true too. And uh, I mean, everybody should work out. Yeah, you should work out. But if you're not fit and you don't have a six pack, it doesn't mean that you're a loser or that you're like inferior or something like that. Uh, the most, most extremely successful people are probably not uh, not that fit or don't work out that much, right? They don't look like an Instagram influencer for a gym because they're too busy working to have the time for that. Now, obviously, it's important to be healthy. Of course it is. And I think that you should want to be healthy. But it's a big difference between being healthy and being like a, uh, you know, amateur bodybuilder level, right? And that's all I'm really saying. Uh, wake up at 5 a.m., run 100 miles or do yoga or else you're a loser. Yeah, it's something like that. And I, I see this stuff all the time. It's really disappointing and uh, I don't really know what the solution for it is. Uh, there's a, a big part of me I always ask myself, like, is it a good idea for people who are under the age of 18 to have social media? Like, is it is it healthy for a kid to have social media? And I, I think back to like my experience and like what it was like for me with like, because I, I had MySpace, I was like 14 or so. And like, I, I loved MySpace, it was really cool. I had a good time. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of the same experiences that other people did, but I also was very lucky growing up because I had, uh, you know, a family around me and uh, I had like all my friends. I had my own sense of self-worth. And, and I think especially for somebody who's much more of a blank slate, doesn't really have a North Star, as I said before, not that I really had a North Star, but I had a, a sense of self-worth. It, it becomes much more dangerous for a person like that. and. It makes it very hard for me to say that, yeah, this is definitely what this is definitely what it should be for people. Because I don't think so. I, I think that it's it's a very harmful experience for a lot of kids. A lot of things aren't healthy, but Freedom Trump smokes things there. True, but we're talking about kids. And uh, whenever you're talking about people that are underage, people that are under 18, uh, it's it's a different conversation than an adult, right? And I'm not talking about adults. I'm talking about like like would I want to have like if I had a uh, if I had a daughter, if I had a, a son, would I want them being on social media at age 11? Answer is probably no, uh, probably fucking not. And it's weird because like I, I would in a way I would want them to have that because I got something out of it and I'd want them to not just be like at a disadvantage in the world because this is how the world works. And so the earlier that you're able to interface with the world, I think in a lot of ways, the better. But at the same time, there's just so many fucking negatives. Like, is it really justified? It's hard to say. Uh, it's it's a really, really hard way to, uh, it's, it's a hard decision to make. And, and I don't know. I don't think it, I, I think it for many people, it is a simple answer, but um, I, I don't really know if that's the best answer. So the pendulum swings back from social media and this fucked up environment we're in. And I think, well, this is the point, right? I mean, this all comes back to like the cryptocurrency and like the crypto land stuff, etc. Uh, is that the people that are products of being raised on social media are the ones that are buying into this. They're the ones that are buying into this. These are the same people that have been trained to be uh, uber status conscious. These are the same people who are fixated on... Uh, having, you know, X, Y, or Z thing, or uh, we're all going to make it. Yeah. And, and like all of these different uh, phrases that people use to make themselves feel like they're, uh, you know, more special than what they are or more unique or whatever. Can't clean your room. What do you know about kids? I don't know a damn thing. I'm just talking. You don't even have a stream. What the hell do you know about talking? Yeah. What, what about that? Huh? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I, I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying. And if you agree with me, then cool. If you don't, then don't. That's the thing is like nobody, almost nobody really has any credibility uh, to talk about any of this shit. Like what the fuck does that, do, does any of us know about it? it? It's all just, it's all just, is it true to you or not? And that's how it goes. 
Uh, I don't agree, but I enjoy listening to your perspectives and thoughts. Yeah, a lot of people think that. Yeah, for sure. That's anything in life. That's what combos are for. Yeah, exactly. Nobody's got credibility. Yeah, there's very few things that credibility and, like, you know, some stamp of approval means. Like, I can clean up my room. Does that mean that I know more about it whenever my room's clean? Not really. No, it doesn't. Uh, it's just, uh, it's illogical. It's somebody that's hearing something they don't want to hear, and they're coming up with a reason for why they don't have to.